thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring this video. Hi little doodles, it's Amanda, welcome back. I feel like I've been all over the place the past month. Um, I was in Paris and I was just at VidCon, which I will hopefully update as we start planning, but there's just been a lot happening <laughs> in the past month. So for some reason, sitting down to actually film a video right now is very foreign to me, but we're okay, we're doing it. Anyway, we are doing my July 2022 plan with me. I have a really cute theme. It matches my dress today and my nails. She's just fully pink. You know, we just had to go for those summertime vibes. Because I was moving around so much in June, I wasn't able to use my bullet journal as much as I thought or needed. And I think that's why my brain is so scattered right now. So hopefully for July, we can kind of get all of this contained and the bullet journal setup will help. So without further ado, grab your, your notebooks if you're planning along with me, your stationary pens or a snack. And as usual, let's get started planning. I actually can't believe it's taken me this long to do a tulip theme, but that's the theme that we're going with for July, 2022. I feel like I've done every single type of flower in the past. Like I've done sunflowers, daisies, roses, lavender. And it occurred to me this month when I was thinking about what theme to do that I hadn't, haven't done tulips. And tulips are actually one of my favorite flowers. I love them. I think they're very springtime, summer vibes. Like they look like a happy flower. I think they're really pretty and simple. And I love the bright colors. Plus, they're actually super easy to doodle. As you can see, I'm just using my green zebra mild liner. I'm also using a couple of Crayola Super Tips markers. And essentially, I'm just drawing a green stem with a couple leaves. And the actual tulip flower part is just this kind of elongated semicircle shape with a couple of bumps at the top. So it was very quick and easy for me to do. I decided to do them pretty small and in this sort of repeated pattern all over. And as you can see, I used this really light gray marker underneath it all to create this plaid pattern and it just gives it more of a summertime picnic vibe which I thought was really cute and subtle. I didn't even use any black fine liners, just the um, three markers and the light gray marker so it, as long as you have a couple of Crayola super tips I feel like you'd be good to recreate this. On the other side of the spread I made a quote page using the same lettering style, this sort of cutesy bubbly letter font and the quote says may the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary and this quote is really applicable to me because i feel like i have been talking about this a little bit but the beginning of the year was a little bit rough for me but this past month and even currently things have been getting a lot better and it just really applies to the quote because you know where i'm at now is so much better than where i was a few months ago and it's just it's just a nice reminder this month was super crazy <laughs> i went to paris which was so fun i actually will be uploading paris vlogs soon so stay tuned for those because it was just such an amazing trip and like i imagined it was very inspiring for my art so i'm excited for you guys to see the vlogs and all of that oh i was a keynote speaker at vidcon which is pretty cool i had to prepare quite a lot for it i will link um my vidcon speech down below if you want to see the whole thing i'm really really proud of myself for doing that because public speaking scares me but i push myself and I'm really proud that I was able to do it. And I got some really sweet comments and messages about it saying that people related to it and they really resonated with it. So I, that is like one of my biggest accomplishments from the past month because, you know, I feel like when something scares you the most, it feels the most fulfilling when you actually do it. And that was definitely that for me. Oh, and then I launched my Ana Luisa jewelry collection, my bracelet that I designed, which you can kind of see me wearing on my wrist in a few of the, the shots in this video, but that was so crazy and the response was amazing. So I wanted to thank you guys for, for that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch my previous video but that was such a cool experience. So this month has just been crazy and I did wanna thank you guys for being patient. I do know that this July plan with me went up a lot later than normal, even more late than usual, but I do know you guys understand that and a lot of you guys are so supportive of everything that's been going on, so thank you. 
Before I continue with the spreads, I wanted to quickly thank Birch Living for sponsoring this video. So I'm actually currently not in my own apartment. I'm in LA, but right before I left in my Toronto apartment, I actually switched out my mattress because I have been using the same mattress since I was pretty much a child. That mattress is probably like 20, maybe 15 years old. So I figured it was time for an upgrade and time for a new one. I've honestly been struggling a little bit with getting regular sleep and getting enough sleep Sleep. and I do think that old mattress was a big part of it because I guess I'm just used to being slightly uncomfortable when I sleep. Obviously sleep is super important. It helps you be more productive, happy, all of that. So it's something that you should really invest in. So if you don't know about Birch Living, they are a premium mattress in a box company that makes stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious sleep products. Their mattresses are non-toxic and made in America with sustainably sourced organic and natural ingredients. And they're also made with cooling and support in mind, which is really important to me because I get really hot when I sleep. So breathability is a must for me. The organic materials help keep you cool and regulate your body temperature. I've really felt the difference in that. They ensure that the materials that they use are produced and harvested sustainably throughout the whole entire creation of the mattress. As I mentioned, I'm currently in LA, but before I came here, I actually had the Birch Living mattress for just over a month and I could already tell the difference in sleep. Like I can't wait to go back home and sleep on my mattress because it helps me fall asleep so much better, so much quicker. I was kind of worried about the setup because I am a small girl living alone, but the mattresses actually come delivered right to your doorstep for free if you're in the US, but um, it comes rolled up in the box and it's very easy. I was able to do it by myself. It also comes with two EcoRest pillows, which are made from recycled plastic bottles, which are breathable and better for the environment. And they actually give you a 100 night sleep trial and a 25 year warranty. So if you don't like the mattress for any reason, Birch Living will actually just come and pick it up for you and give you a full refund. So I just love my Birch mattress and I think you guys would as well. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link down below or go to Birch Living.com slash Amanda H. Lee for $400 off your mattress and two free pillows. Of course, it's time for us to do our monthly calendar spread. So for this monthly calendar, I'm just using the green marker for the lines of the calendar. Again, not really using a black fine liner at all throughout this setup, unless it's just for text. Um, but yeah, the green tip at the end of the mild liner, that's what I use. The individual boxes, I'm doing six by six. And then for the dots, for the numbers, I'm just using that pink marker. I actually really like this shade of pink. I feel like normally I don't go for this bright of a color, but I thought that the bright color would be nice, especially considering the theme and the doodles are pretty simple. Also, I feel like this is my favorite color of tulip. I might go and get some tulips now because I just love the look of fresh tulips. Um, and I love flower shopping. One of the things that I did when I was in Paris was just buy myself a bouquet of flowers because if I don't, who will, you know? <laughs> That's the energy we're emitting for this month. Um, around the title for July, I drew this rounded box and inside that box, I did that plaid pattern again. It's really easy to create this plaid pattern, especially if you have a dot grid journal because you just create lines along the, um, the dot grids and you do some that are thinner lines, some that are thicker, and I think it just gives off a nice subtle touch I added the tulip doodles all around, a couple of leaf doodles as well. And then I thickened up that green um, outline around the calendar just to make it stand out a little bit more. And I realized I accidentally forgot to leave space for the days of the week at the top. So I kind of had to squish this in, but if I were to do it again, I would space it out a little bit more. And then in the empty spaces, I added some tulip doodles at the bottom. If I did have more supplies with me, um, I probably would have added some cute washi tapes at the bottom, but I don't have any plaid washi tapes. So maybe I'll have to design those. Would you guys want to see plaid washi tape collection for Shopping Man Rich Lee? Let me know in the comments. Now on to the trackers for the header. I'm just writing out habit in the pink marker and then creating this um, ribbon design with the green marker. And that's where I wrote up tracker using my markers. 
and again nothing too crazy just creating the mini tracker calendars underneath it but for the headers of each calendar i'm using that same like ribbon detail to keep things pretty consistent and i thought it went well with the theme especially with the plaid that we have going on you know plaid ribbons tulips i feel like it was a pretty cutesy girly theme which i thought all came together really well but you know wasn't too much I'm using the pink marker this time for the outlines of the calendar and the habits that I'm tracking this month are my usual which is workout, vitamin, um, eating healthy slash eating vegan, uh, what else do I have here, taking a walk, stretching, all of that. Honestly, because I've been like traveling and jumping around so much uh, between VidCon and Paris and all of that, I feel like I've been slacking on taking care of myself, which is probably why I'm so tired and exhausted and it's not good. So hopefully for July, I can get myself back on track and start feeling a little bit better in my body because it's definitely been neglected a little bit. My sleep schedule is not the greatest. I do this thing where I take like a two hour nap at like 10, 11 p.m. I wake up at 2 a.m., stay up for a couple of hours and then fall back asleep at 4 a.m. and wake up at like eight or nine. So it's not good. I mean, collectively I get like a solid six or seven hours of sleep, but probably shouldn't be breaking it up like that. <laughs> for the mood tracker this month, I'm actually drawing a bunch of tulip stems uh, and, and I'm leaving out the tops because the tops of the tulip stems is what I will be drawing in for however I'm feeling. So the different colors of tulips, whether it's a smaller bud or a larger bud, I've just corresponded them to different types of moods. And I thought that was a cute little mood tracker to do. Um, so you can have sort of this large garden of tulips at the end of the month to look back on, regardless of how you were feeling on each specific day. Now in terms of how I'm feeling and currently, just to check in with you guys and myself, um, because I feel like I haven't caught up with you guys in a while. Um, I mean, besides all of the things that were busy with work and travel, I have been feeling a lot, a lot better, um, especially pulling back from like streaming and posting slightly less, I feel like has helped me a lot to recharge. And I'm, I'm feeling good about everything, especially my personal life. It's been nice to spend time with friends and yeah, we're taking it slow and I'm trying to be patient with myself and I hope you guys are as well. So we kind of moved on to the playlist spread as I was talking about that, which I haven't done in a while, but I have discovered a lot of new songs recently that I've really been liking, especially for the summer vibes um, because I've been doing a lot of summertime walks, summertime drives, and you need the, the corresponding great playlist songs to <laughs> listen to with that. As usual, I'm gonna make a Spotify playlist and link them all below if you wanna jam out to the same songs as me. Some of the songs are newer, some of the songs are older. A lot of them I rediscovered because of the, the Summer I Turned Pretty show. If any of you guys have been watching that, I've been obsessed with it. I think it's the perfect summer show and the soundtrack is so, so good. So I've just been rediscovering and listening to that. And if you guys have been watching that, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Whose team are you on? I'm Team Jeremiah, not gonna lie. I know that's gonna upset some of you guys. <laughs> All right, finally, we're moving on to the first weekly spread of July, which is crazy. We're officially in the second half of the year. But for this one, I created sort of a half Dutch door spread. So I cut the page in half, and that's where I'm putting my weekly sort of sidebar with my events. I'm using the green marker to create the lines, just like I've done the whole setup. And I'm also creating that subtle gray plaid pattern in the background of this weekly sidebar because the gray is so light that you can still write on top of it. So I thought it was a nice touch to make things look a little cuter. Um, I labeled the days on the side, but then for the individual daily tasks, that's where I used the other side of the Dutch door. Kept it pretty simple. Just used the tulips at the top to um, write out the numbers. And then I 
created the green ribbon as the headers. Didn't do any boxes, anything like that because I wanted a quick, simple spread. And I know there's six boxes here, but the last box actually is for the whole weekend. So we have two days there, which is why you see the two tulips for the numbers. And after I route out the numbers and the days of the week, I think that's pretty much it. I did mess up a little bit and draw an extra tulip stem, which is why you see me attempt to fix it with a white marker there. Oh, I didn't do lines, but I did end up doing these this like dotted line to um, divide out the spaces, which I thought turned out pretty cute. It was like a subtle way to divide it out. All right, guys, so here's the final flip through of my very cute and simple tulip theme for my July 2022 bullet journal setup. I hope you guys liked it. I thought it was very cute and also easy to recreate, but um, I liked the summer vibes, which is what I was going for. A lot of you guys thought I was going for watermelon with this color palette, but no, we got tulips. Finito, finished. We are done the setup. As usual, I love showcasing your recreations from last month over here. There's also my lovely doodle planner users, their spreads here as well, which all turned out so well. I love lurking on you guys. So if you guys recreate any of them, be sure to tag me on all of the socials at a main Rachel Lee, on Instagram, TikTok, all of the things because I want to see them. So I hope you guys enjoyed yet another bullet journal setup. As I mentioned, the past few months have just been so hectic for me, which is why I've been slower on the videos, but it's been good and it's definitely been necessary for me to like focus on different projects and I'm excited to hopefully come back with a lot more content for you guys. So stay tuned, stay tuned. I think that's it guys. Is there anything else? Do I have like any housekeeping? I don't think so. All right, okay, well, keep doodling. Bye.